Hey Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome Sagittarius. To my returning Saggies, welcome back. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is your monthly collective love reading. Please keep in mind this reading will not resonate with every single Sagittarius, so please check the other placements in your natal chart, okay? Also Sagittarius, let me know if you're a November or a December Saggy, okay? So, let's hop right into the reading without further delay. Hope you guys are doing well, Sagittarius. It's been so long, you guys. I feel like since I've done your reading, so I'm super excited. Super duper excited to do this reading for you guys. So, let's get it going and see what messages Spirit has for you guys in regards to love. Sagittarius, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because I've got more good collective readings coming up for you guys for this month. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> All right, Spirit Universe, what messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages for Sagittarius. Ooh, we got forgiveness. So stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. It says you create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So Sagittarius, um, let go. Let go. Forgive whoever has hurt you so that you are able to move forward. All right, let's keep going. I feel like some of you guys, Sagittarius, may actually be doing that because I don't see y'all, like honestly, I don't see y'all holding on to anything that doesn't serve you. I feel like you guys are finally like just Moving on with your life, you know? That's what I feel. We've got, oh, hold on. Let me give a better shuffle because I use the same deck during Scorpio's and so I want to make sure you got a good shuffle. We got playfulness. <laughs> Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Remember, Sagittarius, that love is the highest vibration. So make sure you do all things from a place of love and understanding. And even if your person makes a mistake or does something that kind of ticks you off or rubs you the wrong way, you guys can talk it out, um, you know, work through it and you can forgive and move on. Like you don't want to hang on to negative energy for too long because bad vibes is not a good look, you know, and it doesn't help your connection. So try to get through those ups and downs pretty quickly and try to keep it lighthearted and fun, you know. Especially for those of you guys who just recently started dating someone. Like, you want to keep the energy beautiful. Yeah, look, we got criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Now, Sagittarius. And, and let me just say this. Because y'all are blunt AF. <laughs> Some stuff you just got to keep to yourself. Like, you may not like it. But some stuff, you're just going to have to keep quiet, Sagittarius. Some stuff is, um, you. it's just, it's not even that. It's just like sometimes be careful with the way that you say things because you can turn someone off just by the way that you approach them or say something to them. Like, if you don't like something, there's a way to say it without coming across like you're an ass. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> If this resonates with you, leave a message or comment down in the comment section below and let me know. Because sometimes I feel like Sagittarius, you guys get a bad rep for just being blunt as fuck. And y'all don't really, like, really care how the person perceives it. But I don't think you mean it to come out that way. You guys are just very real. But you have to be tactful. You know what I'm saying? Especially with someone that could potentially be a life partner. So you want to consider that other person in the process, but still keep it real. All right. So we're going to find out what's the mutual energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We're going to find out your hopes, their hopes, intentions for the connection, fears, and possible outcome. And if we have time, we'll get some advice. So let's get into it. All right, Spirit, what is the mutual energy between Sagittarius and the person they're currently connected with? Or thinking about at this time please keep in mind Sagittarius this reading will not resonate with every single Sagittarius like I stated earlier at the beginning of the video please keep that in mind check your other placements if it don't resonate with you if it does not resonate with you check the other placements okay mutual energy okay deep emotions 
So you guys are feeling some type of way about this person. I'm loving it though, Sagittarius. I'm here for it. So that's the mutual energy is deep emotions. <clears throat> Spirit, what is Sagittarius's hopes for this connection with their loved one? What is Sagittarius's hopes for this connection? Forbidden. You hope this is not another set. <laughs> I'm hearing that song by Sarah Bareilles. I'm not gonna write you a love song because you ask for it because you need one. Yeah, it's like you're hoping that it's not one of those sad, sad love songs. I'm getting that song by Tony Braxton too. Just another sad love song wrecking my brain like crazy. Yeah, it's like um, you guys don't want another lo sad love song because you guys are just like ready to be happy and you're ready to express your deep emotions. So that's what you guys' hopes are for this connection. More hopes for Sagittarius. Please, Spirit, what are their hopes for the connection? You're hoping that you can trust this person. What's fine, suspicious. This is an energy of in the past you may not have been able to trust the person that you are with because they may have been very narcissistic, selfish, or just shady. Spirit, what is Sagittarius' this person's hopes for this connection? They hope you're the missing piece to their puzzle, Sagittarius. They hope you're the one. They hope you are the one. Look, <laughs> as I say that, you are the one. What are Sagittarius's intentions towards their person for this connection, Spirit? What are Sagittarius's intentions for this connection? Y'all know these uh these lovers oracles do not like to stay in the stands. They like to do too much. So, ooh. what are their intentions, Spirit? Okay. Sagittarius, I feel like you guys going into this connection, you've already set your mind <laughs> that you are not going to give any more than they're giving. Like, you have been there, done that. I feel like you guys have learned your lesson. Yay, Sagittarius. You are not overextending yourself this go around. So proud of you, Sagittarius. Four of Pentacles is like, you kind of, your intentions is to only give what you, you're being given to reciprocate. That's what I feel with this Four of Pentacles because you're very, I feel like you guys are a little bit guarded, Sagittarius. You work hard to get to where you are. You work hard to heal from past situations and you don't want to repeat. Like I said, it's just another sad love song in my brain like crazy. It's small to it up, be fast or slow, it doesn't let go. Yeah, so that's what we're getting, Sagittarius. Y'all don't want to do too much because you don't want to be back in that situation again. Knight of Pentacles, y'all really do want to offer this person your love, your support. You really do want to put effort into this connection, okay? It's going to take you some time because you know the Knight of Pentacles, he's slow as fuck, but he's going to get it done. So there's that, Sagittarius. What are Sag Sagittarius' intention, spirit, for this connection? Two of Swords. I feel like you guys are kind of trying to wait it out. You're trying to wait it out with this Two of Swords because you know the Two of Swords is stagnant energy, so it's like kind of sitting in one place, not doing too much, just kind of waiting and seeing weighing out the options and seeing if this is worth the investment, if it's worth becoming emotionally invested. But you already have feelings for this person, Sagittarius. And they already obviously have feelings for you because their hopes is that you're the one, you are the one, like that missing piece to their puzzle. All right. All right, Holy Spirit Divine Source, what are Sagittarius' person's intentions for this connection? 
What are their intentions? Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. They want success with you, Sagittarius. They want to build something lasting. I'm hearing the word legacy with you. La Familia, Sagittarius. They want to build a family. They want something lasting. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they want... I mean, you got Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. They want someone who's mature, who's stable, who... Because you have it, Sagittarius who is very much a leader. Nine of Pentacles is very much Miss or Mr. Independent Energy for me. They see you as that. So they see you as someone that they can actually build with. And that's what their intentions are, is to build with you because they feel like you would be a good asset as a partner. Like you come with a lot, you bring a lot to the table. So that's what their um, intentions are. And they also are very independent too. I feel like this person is in that same energy and they're wanting to bring you an offer to the table. They don't want um, they don't want you to have to do everything for them. They want to help bring stuff to the table too, you know? They want to help support this connection. So that's great, Sagittarius. Yeah, five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. I feel like this could be an issue because not this part, but the Five of Pentacles could be an issue because this person, um, they have been so used to doing things on their own that at times they may forget when they have a partner to include you, you know, or they may have some insecurities. It's a lack mentality. They may feel insecure about meeting your standards, but I feel like if you just reassure them, Sagittarius, that y'all are good, then this person will be fine. They'll be all right. They'll be all right, Sagittarius. You just sometimes have to give people the reassurance because they may lack the confidence that you have, Sagittarius. So they might need you to kind of give them that boost. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely want to invest in this connection. That's their intentions. Um, maybe at one point things were looking down for them, but now they're stable with this Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy. It took them some time and it's taking them some time. Um, um, channeled song. Last night took a nail, but tonight I bounce back. It's like this person took some time to bounce back. Maybe they were down on their luck at one point. Maybe they had some bills, child support, you know, different things going on financially. But now they're building back up. So they went from a five to a ten. Five, seven, nine, ten. You see what I'm saying? All pinnacle energy. So this person has definitely been working on their credit. This person has been working on paying off debt. This person has been working getting their own vehicle. Or getting their own place like whatever the case is this person is working on their money and they finally got into a, a comfortable place where they're comfortable so they want to prove to you that they actually do have something to bring to the table all right that's their intentions for the connection what is their fears for that connection spirit what is Sagittarius's person's fears towards this connection here They are afraid that you will be closed off to them. They're afraid that you, you might end up being closed off and then they end, that you end up regretting dealing with them because they, okay, so this person does struggle with their own insecurities, especially centered around money. This person may have some issues there and they're, they're afraid that you may regret being with them and you may end up withdrawing your energy because if you find out about the insecurity, that's their fear. Yeah, and you end up ending the relationship because you find out that they do struggle sometimes because they're trying to get it all worked out. And keep in mind, Sagittarius, nobody's perfect. So, you know, just encourage your person and be that support that you would want, you know? What are Sagittarius' fears for this connection, Spirit? So we're going to get the possible outcome and call it a day. Ooh, five of swords. That this person tries to manipulate you in some type of way. And then you got, or this place, person tries to play mind games or, you know, um, tries to get one up on you. Because the five of swords is, the five of swords is kind of sneaky and aggressive. Plays mind games. And that's what your fear is. You don't want to deal with somebody who's manipulative. And then you guys end up fighting more than you end up loving each other and end up separating. That's your fear. Yeah, look, five of wands. You're afraid that you guys end up fighting and getting into conflicts. That's your fear. 
Here was the possible outcome between Sagittarius and this person. Possible outcome. Page of Cups. So, you both expressing your love little by little. But the hangman, I feel like you both making sacrifices for the connection. But also, you guys are surrendering and just going, kind of going with the flow and seeing where things lead you. Tower moment. There are there are going to be some disagreements come up, Sagittarius, and that's okay when you least expect it. But you guys, um, you just have to know how to be able to work through those tough times in order for this to last. You know? Yeah. Eight of Swords. Don't stay trapped there. Don't stay stuck in this mindset that things can't work or can't be fixed. You guys got to work together. Nine of Cups. So eventually, you guys get to a point where you're comfortable dealing with each other. You understand each other, the way you think, the way you move, and you work together to, um, you know, restore the peace and balance in this connection, which is great. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. You both, you both learn how to juggle. Can you juggle, Sagittarius? Can they juggle? You know, that's the question here. Because that's what's going to make this a comfortable situation. You both learning how to balance your emotions finances and everything else so that has been your love reading for this month Sagittarius please leave a comment down in the comment section below if it resonates with you let me know if you're a November or December sag and until next time love you guys